What's up, y'all? This is Jack Harlow, and this is my show and tell with Complex. Tap in and see what you think. This is my choice. This is my taste right here. Deliver right to you. You know, social media has always made everybody feel like we can be alone together, but now more than ever, I'll tell you what I'm enjoying is those battles with 100,000 people watching, the beat battles and the producer battles. My man, Boy Wanda, he went up against a Hip Boy. I've worked with both of them, so I ain't really have a dog in the fight, but producers, man, when they talk shit at each other, it'd be so like tame, man. Producers are so nice. But then when I seen the artists go at it, like Sean Garrett versus The Dream, they were really talking dirt to each other. I just enjoy the competitive side. There's not a lot of competition left, it seems, these days, so it's nice to see some of that. Uh, me and my roommate are deeply invested in this new Survivor season. Survivor winners at war. And so what they did is they took 20 of the past winners and said, let's come back and pit y'all against each other. So me and my guy were just horny over this because these are all professionals. These are people that won it. There's even a woman on there that won Survivor twice. Well, me personally, I'm a Boston Rob guy. You know, Boston Rob, he's got a lot of charisma and he's a smart, logical thinker and he tells people how it is. Aside from him, there's the older woman named Denise who's a very sharp woman, I like her. And Tony though, I forgot about Tony. Oh my, let me stop, yo, let me stop. I've been listening to a lot of 70s music, the Hall and Oates stuff, Chic. I've been listening to some ABBA. I've been listening to old music because I feel like they packed so much substance into it. Even the hits, they had so many stories and like, the music was about something. And you know, it's hard to come across that these days. But I, I, I still been sliding into the studio, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even really supposed to say that because I've been actually sneaking to the studio. I go in there and I wipe the pop filter down with Clorox wipes. I wipe the tables down. I ask my engineer to wear gloves. I'm cautious about this, but to me, if we're gonna have all this time off and not get to tour, because I like touring, I might as well have some music coming out of this. So I gotta brave the storm, you know what I mean? I'm reading this book full of Hemingway short stories. And there's some good ones in there, I ain't gonna lie. He likes to write in a lot of different settings. And Hemingway he seems like he's he been a lot of places. I ain't much of a gamer. I played Borderlands 3 for a few days with my homeboy. For some reason, this quarantine has made me like hyper aware of how I'm spending my time, strangely enough, even though there's this excess of time. But I'm waking up earlier, I'm like focusing on this music hard stuff. So I'm working with Jetson a lot. And you know, he's got them sounds, man, he's nice, but I got some other stuff. You know, I'm kind of juggling a few different projects at once right now. My next goal is just to take a big artistic step up. What's popping is really giving me a platform and people are like, wow, he can rap and this song's hard, but I want to be regarded as an excellent artist. I want to make great art. Yo, thanks everybody for listening. Once again, my name is Jack Harlow and this was my show and tell with Complex.